So what I'm going to show you is how to use the dialer that's already in Go High Level. And it's it's kind of like a, it's not a full-fledged power dialer, but it is, right? So it's going to do everything that you want it to do. It's probably not going to do the, the, the triple dial. Um, you can probably get it to do a triple dial, but you got to mess with it. Like I sent you that video, which I believe would show you how. But I'll just show you something that is helpful. So you just create a workflow from scratch. And if you have a list, right, you've got a list of people you're trying to call. Now, yeah, I, I have a list right now, yeah. And you have you imported them into your system? Yeah, it's in my uh, CRM. Have you labeled them inside the CRM, like tagged them correctly? I tagged them. OK, cool. So <clears throat> you could add a trigger here, right? Can you, you can't see my screen, can you? No, I can't. Screen. There we go. Now I'll share it. Do you know how to get to the screen? I, I forgot to share it with you. One, one second. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll you just go back. Yeah, yeah. Make it easier. So you go to automations, right? Create workflow up here. Start from scratch. And now <clears throat> you can either add a trigger, which will automatically trigger what is on the back end here, or you could just leave it blank. And <clears throat> what we're looking to do is add a manual call. So when you add a manual call, it's going to do exactly that. It's going to add a manual call to the manual call section, which is the, the dialer, which is separate from just pressing the call button. And I'll show you that in a second. And what you can do is <clears throat> you could probably add it to manually call and then add it again to the manual call system. So you could probably have it added it three times. Does this make any sense so yeah, far? That's, that's how I did it, yeah. OK, so you use the manual call. You it, it kind of seems like you use call connect because there's no way it would call by itself. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it was manual call. But it might have been what you said. But yeah, it was three of those back to back. Cool. So I would try using just doing manual call, manual call, manual call. <clears throat> so let's do that. And then uh, I'll just copy that, copy here. So we're just going to call this a triple dial. And you know we can really get crazy and, and really build out a system that would facilitate this day after day. Yeah, but, that's kind of what I wanted to do. Just because I was like, if I'm going to be doing this all day, the last thing I want to do is spend my time fucking doing little shit all the time. You know, I want to just hit the button, get through my fucking leads, and, and you know, get the ball rolling. <laughs> yeah. So what I would do is I'd probably do this. And then I, if I was you, I would set up a pipeline for you know, how to set up a pipeline. I think I, I have an idea of it. I try to do it, I think, after this, right? So it, it was pretty much just the dispositions, right, of my leads. So it would be like uh, one is, you know, a follow-up call. One would be a closer call. One would be underwriting. The other one would right. be going the property, right? Is that what that is? So, yeah, that's that's what where your pipelines are. But you can create different ones inside there. And I would, inside the Opportunities tab, I would create a pipeline that is just called dialer and then each row would be call one or like day one day two day three day four if you want to call each person day after day right, right? because then what you're going to do is you're going to say okay on day one three manual calls 
and then well you probably put them in a you probably put them in a pipeline so you could create an opportunity put them in a pipeline right so you would put them in whatever pipeline you have a call call it dialer whatever and then three calls will get stacked up in your dialer and then what i would say is after the three calls are made assuming you know you didn't talk to them or you didn't schedule a call with like another appointment with them using the calendar you could put a delay in here and say in two days two days right right uh we don't need that <clears throat> I would say you want to put them into another triple dial. And then it'll keep moving you through the pipeline this way. So is it not possible to drop a voicemail after that third call? <clears throat> you can. You can drop it. It would be you'll have to test it but she'll just add in one of these voicemails here yeah because that 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 to me is is probably the best uh plan of action just because um i've gotten a lot of callbacks right so i would rather at least touch spaces and and have them hear it and be like you know what i'm gonna call this call i'm gonna call this guy back because that's happened to me a lot leaving voicemails and then sending text messages too because then i'll get a lot of text messages back but i always call them three times because th sometimes they won't answer on the first a lot of the times they'll answer on the third or the second call so it's like okay <clears throat> I'm, i want to try those three things i mean yeah those three things every time i try to contact some person right if i don't get yeah. a voicemail or a text back then i want to touch bases with them the following day with a different number you know that that's kind of my plan of action but i don't know how realistic it is going through a list that's 600 people right Do, doing it this way how real how, how many contacts could i possibly go through in a day working like eight hours a day doing it the way we're setting it up is it possible to go through 100 maybe probably i mean eight hours i don't see why you can't do that that's that should be a problem i can do 20 in about 10 minutes oh fuck! how, how do you do it so fast <clears throat> I'll show you. So it's you're using the manual call, right? I don't know if I would put the a voicemail drop in there because then you're just adding complexity to the system and you want to make sure that this system is as least is he like you want to dumb it down basically. Mm. Because if you're like manual call, manual call, and manual call, great, it'll drop it after the third one. But, you know, what happens if they pick up here and you talk to them and then as soon as you hang up, it's going to send a voicemail, oh. which is going to make it make it look like a dumb dumb. Oh, yeah. I didn't right. think of it. So it'll do it anyways, whether I talk to them or not, it's going to do it. Right. Oh, shit. Okay. So be careful. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sound I might not look professional at all. I just talked to this dude. Fuck, leaving me a voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> I can leave me a voice out. What's happening here? Yeah. So I would just stick to the to the calls, right? What about the text? No, same thing, huh? Same issue. Yeah, I would say same same deal. Just after the third call, and after you do this, you know, six hundred times, you're gonna under you're gonna know the system better. You're gonna say like, okay, I've done a hundred phone calls. I triple dialed every one, and here's what I'm learning. And you're gonna be like. And you're going to start understanding what you actually need the system to do. So you're trying to solve a problem you don't actually have yet. So do the thing, find the problem, handle the problem manually. And then after you've handled the problem manually hundreds of times, and then go through and automate it because then you know exactly what you need and how you need to build it. So you can solve a problem and actually create another problem. Mm. Okay. So when it's manual call, how does that workflow work when i go to let's start and i hit the button is it am i gonna have to call it myself three times and what's the point of even having the 
the or the workflow if I still have to push the button to call? Great, great question. So we will. I'll just add you to this right now. Uh, this one. So I'm gonna just select you. You would select your whole list or whatever you want to put in there, <clears throat> and then we're gonna add to an automation, and we're gonna click OK. And what do I call that? Dialer. Yeah. Triple dial. All at once. Just nine nine. Add to automation. So now. We, I've added your name to the dialer. And if we did everything right on the fly, you go into conversations, to manual actions. And you can see, you could just press let's start and watch. It automatically starts dialing. Oh, dope. Right? So it's going to ring. Just let it ring. Don't pick it up. Okay. Uh, if, if I, if I, um, if I reject the call, does it throw it off? No, no, reject the call. That's fine. It'll work. So it's asking me to leave a voicemail. I'm just gonna hang up and then it says this. So what happened, right? <clears throat> this is where if you wanna get more complex into the that workflow where I said manual dial, manual dial, manual dial. Right. You can you can use the conditional formatting, which is the if. Have you seen use the if yet? I haven't. If, if, it branches it out. So it's like if then statements basically. Right. And then you can say if you left a voicemail, dial again. If it was busy, dial again. If it was completed, don't dial again. Mm. And that's when you can and all but completed, you can put dial and it'll add it back into your dialer. yeah that's so then 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 my my uh my theory would work then right if you could actually do that right yeah, like the, trip, not the voice <laughs> mode up but in case i do answer if i completed then it wouldn't drop the, the voicemail right correct and you can see i clicked one of those buttons i think i completed or something and it, i could pause it so i can take notes do whatever the heck i want to do in here and it's trying to creep to the to do the next lead so let's yeah, see so what button did you push i think i pushed completed i forget what i did yeah because it was supposed to call me again right and it would have had you put uh no no answer no it should have put let's see what it did i've never actually tested that out to how it works that way i've never tried to make a triple dialer honestly um but you can see it just added it it added it back in to the dial sequence. Okay. So it's something you're gonna have to test out <clears throat> because it's a single line dialer. What do you, do you think that's a good idea or should I just fucking manually call it th th three times and not have to like figure out all this stuff? Honestly, probably. Like, <clears throat> that's probably the best thing. I, I say, keep it simple. Keep okay. everything simple. Until you've done it a thousand times where you know it's the same repeatable problem over and over and over again, don't even mess with things. Just do the, do the hard work, do the unscalable thing until you figure out what the problem is you're trying to solve and then solve it. Right. Yeah, because <clears throat> now there is no problem. I'm just trying to automate those little buttons, right? Of like, let me just call three times. I don't have to manually do that shit, you know? Cause it's kind of like in my head is that if i can multitask well not really multitask but like not have to worry about pushing buttons and i can focus on listening to seller calls and trying to get better while i'm actually doing the thing then why not you know but if i'm always here like having to fucking wait on the thing and then my time is consumed fucking focused on this because i have to push buttons then how could i focus on 
on listening on seller calls on on sales training i went to do two things at once i, was like, I could just do this somebody answered hey hello how you doing my name is joel you know going to the thing and then if they don't i could just be focused on listening to you know a sales car or whatever you so that's could my thought behind it you could just and i don't know where you are in the in your financial world and you don't have to tell me but uh let's see what you could do is I saw it in here it's called the wave dialer <laughs> excuse me and the wave dialer is a direct plug-in for go high level that will turn it into a multi-line dialer and do all the things you want it to do it'll solve that problem for you which is i think is what i'm uh, told you that i i uh i'm waiting for twilio to approve the the account for is it, it's for wave uh, i don't know no it's for the crm i, I got an rei reply so they made their own got i don't it. know if it's using the wave is it or they have to have their own thing I, they probably have they're using go high level as well and they yeah. have their own they, they build it out they could be using wave who knows what they're doing oh uh, okay yeah so i would say so don't just, solve any problems that you don't already have yet okay so then don't even bother uh because i was like i don't know how long it's going to take it's been already like a week i still haven't just haven't approved the the, the numbers and the texting campaign for for that multi-line dialer that i'm going to be using so i was like for now i want to see if i can figure this out because even when i build my pipeline and i and i build my my sales funnel and i have all these these uh follow-up appointments i still don't want to be doing that but i mean I, i'm gonna take advice from people that know what they're doing you know i don't, I don't know what i'm doing that's why I, I need help from someone that that like like you that knows what they're doing you know what i'm saying there's nothing that you're not going to do so you have to do everything so you got to get take those vocabulary words out of your out of your mouth right you're going to have to do everything right now because you don't know what it is that you actually you can't hire somebody to do something that you don't know what you want them to do i see what you're saying yeah so just yeah i guess i'm just trying to fucking get everything done but um there's steps baby steps i guess right little little things at a time yeah you've it's already been how many how long since you started trying to build the system up uh, a couple uh since that, that day i texted you okay. on facebook yeah so it hasn't been long and you and you've been waiting for the multi-line dialer for how long that same day because when i started dialing right away i was like you know what let me uh let me test this number so i called myself and it came up as uh, scam likely and I was already like, man, I can't. Right when I started calling, I can't even fucking do the damn shit because nobody's gonna answer their fucking number, you know. So then I, I took your advice. I did the thing, and it got fixed the same day. I was like, great, you know. Let, let, let me see if I can figure out this workflow thing. And so I tried messing it with it for with for a little while, and and that that was it, you know. So I'm just like, cause I I've called for eight hours a day, you know, using go high level for somebody else, and I already saw like this just sucks, bro. Like fuck. Doing this shit all day like this sucks. Like I'd rather just get a a power dialer because it makes it so much more efficient. I, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time hitting the buttons. You know, I'm like, I, if I can go figure a way around it, I'm going to do it. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is true. It is inefficient, and you have to find another way to to take out those inefficiencies. But like you said, it costs money to do that and time to get it all implemented. So. In, in in between of getting that just start just do it right because then right. when you get the dialer you'll have a much better idea of like all right i already did 100 200 of these calls i really see how the dialer is going to help me but also there's this other thing that i didn't even think about that i want to do and you can help me set that up well i don't know what it is but i can set up most things inside go high level right okay um and then how much would you charge for something like that how much do you charge for things like that depends what it is man it's all based off of a project and you know whether it makes sense for us to do that to work together on it okay um yeah because i'm definitely interested if, if this is your thing and this is what you do i uh i definitely want to get it set up because this is not my thing bro tech and all that i cannot i'm just like 
the, the more automated the better for me you know the more uh, i'm just gonna dispo this here and i can find it over here later and i don't have to worry about those kind of things you know then even better for me what led you down this path of cold calling random people um just wanted to get my first deal um i was on the team it was a really from what i understood and and from what i know it was supposed to be a really good team but uh the guy just seemed annoyed by me asking questions you know and um I, he ended up saying it's not gonna be a good fit you need a lot more sales training and i said yeah bro like that's why i was taking the eight percent because i thought you were gonna be training me obviously that's why i'm here I'm, you know if i was ready why would i give eight percent to anybody like why would i take a percent if I knew what I was doing, bro, I wouldn't be giving up all that percentage. I would just do it myself. Why would I yeah. take? Yeah. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I understand, bro. You don't have the time to train me. You know how uh, I appreciate your time. And so then I was like, I I'm not going to just sit here and wait for somebody to get me on a team, even though I had a lot of people offer me to be on their teams. Um, I just want to do it myself. I, there's a lot of resources that I have, and I don't even think they're willing to train me uh, the way that I, I think I need every day you know um so i just jump on the daily dial i jump on the, the the friday night um the nightly dial on fridays and then i do the wednesday ones and i feel like that's probably a lot more beneficial to me like calling on my own and getting the training every day than being on a team and so i was like well then i mean that means i gotta have my own dialer and i gotta make my own calls rather than getting it from someone else and having them i'm like i'm gonna do my own schedule i'm gonna do my own thing and i think this is probably what's best for me because if i get on a team i'm going to be calling their list i'm going to be limited to when they want to train me limited to the hours they want me to work and i was like the whole reason behind it was because i want to work my own hours i have my own shit going on at home you know i have a little baby i have my son that was just an you know an accident if i was on a team though it would have been an issue you know i was just like this is this is better for me and that's kind of what led me down the path of like trying to be on a team and being offered a lot of different people trying to get me on their team uh after just being on this one that was supposed to be like one of the best ones you know um i just saw it like nah it's, it's best for me to go this route and get my training through the daily dial through all these people that are on there willing to help you know so that's what i kind of thought of i think that's really smart just using the resources you have inside the community to learn to, how to talk to people and you know like my question why cold call random strangers what is it about cold calling random strangers that you were like yeah this is the thing i want to do i don't i don't think it's random i mean i think they they need help i think they um it's random they didn't ask for you to call them <laughs> yeah but they're being foreclosed on it's not like i'm calling somebody who has no issues or no motivation or they're not going through anything then that would be random like some random person that has no motivation, has no timeline, has nothing like that, then yeah, that would be random. But I think the the list that I'm attacking is like, now oh, these people, there's a reason why I'm calling them. They're, there's a reason they have a motivation, they have a need, they have a problem that I need to fix. And so let me go fix that problem. And on, on top of that, let me make some money on the side, you know? And does that excite you to do that all day, every day? Cold calling? Yeah. Nah, it doesn't. I, I, I don't like it at all, but <laughs> i think it, it helps me with my confidence and it's gonna help me getting better on the phones and i think eventually um you know i, I can take myself out of cold calling and, and, and replace myself either with an ai dialer or with a va or something you know and then i can just focus on the the quality leads and just talk to people that you know that i know are motivated that i have the reasons why and that are interested in selling and i can focus my time on talking to them and i don't have to worry about cold calling anymore do you think you can cold call people for the next every day for the next six months to a year? Shoot, I mean, I've I've been doing it for about a good month right now, you know, and uh, I think just being conscious of my energy and being conscious of the more no's I get, the closer I get to that yes, and then just being on that team, calling people got me. Uh, it's kind of like proof of concept. And I can see how quickly I can get from cold calling to building up a pipeline of people that are interested in selling. So I think in that that short, it was it was two weeks, but really that first week I didn't really work 
that many hours because I already had shit going on. So that guy was cool with it. I only really called consistently for a week straight, working eight hours a day. And I saw how many leads I got in that short amount of period. And I was like, dude, you know what I'm saying? And, and if, if in a week I got like 20 to 30 leads with appointment set, you know, I, I think I'm on, onto something. Cool. So you were calling and took you about a week to get your people to like, you know, you got 20 people to pick up the phone and not tell you to go F yourself. And you, you were having nice conversations with them. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's good. That must have felt nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's better than being like told, fuck you, fuck off, you fucking <laughs> asshole, you piece of shit. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Great. Yeah. You don't need my help. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Cool. So it sounds like you understand what it's going to take. You know, you understand there's a button, there's a lot of shitty notes in between the, the people that'll at least have a nice conversation with you. And you're looking beyond that into the unknown is like, okay, well, how do I get, you know, those 20 or 40 yeses or conversations to turn into one contract? Correct. That, that's where you're kind of at your journey now. You're like, ooh, what's what's the unknown? How many how many conversations, good conversations, do I need to have? Yeah, exactly, bro. Look at getting my KPIs. Or I talked to a hundred people today, and out of those hundred, fucking twenty of them picked up, and out of those twenty, fucking seven were interested. You know, and out of those seven, fucking, you know, it's like just getting that stuff down. And yeah, I'm kind of just right there, ready to go. Um, and so you know, I I just reached out, like you said, taking advantage of the resources that we have because. Uh, shit, if it wasn't for this community, bro, I'd be on YouTube trying, trying to figure this shit out on my own. You know, it kind of sucks. Yeah, it's uh, it's a lot easier when you can just call 10 people inside a community and get the answers you need pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, for real. So I got some questions for you. Let me just pull up your contact information. I'm going to share my screen with you and all right so boom you can see my screen yeah awesome so yes you're sub two do you need help with some crm stuff maybe i haven't talked about that i haven't talked about that i haven't talked about any of that stuff uh maybe do you have a google calendar you probably do actually do you did you set up your calendar yet inside um, ghl I need, I need that. Cool. You're not doing that. So you're wholesaling. What cities and states are you calling? Right now, Las Vegas. And you're doing direct to seller. Uh, this doesn't matter. Are you buying anything currently or just wholesaling? No, it's just wholesaling. I want to get some, some lump sum of cash before I start buying for sure. Love it. Love it. Do you or do you know anybody that is lending money? Do I know anybody that's lending money? No, I don't. Not personally. Okay. Cool. Awesome. So you see, when I have these conversations, I've learned through through my time in sub two and not having CRMs and then finally, you know, figuring out, okay, I need a way to reliably have conversations, but also have structure to those conversations that whenever i talk to somebody i want to know a few things right are they a wholesaler great where are they wholesaling are they an investor they have all these questions i ask them and the reason i ask them all these questions whether they're a wholesaler a buyer or a private money lender is because sometimes someone's going to say hey i have a deal in san antonio and i'm going to say cool i have a list of buyers in san antonio would you be opposed to me sending your deal to all my buyers in San Antonio? Most of the time people say, no, that'd be great. And every so often it works and I get to make 2,500 bucks out of that. Beautiful. Yeah. Cause all you do is send out a text. Hey, your property who's interested. Hey, I, let me see what's up with that deal. Yeah. Let me see. I want that. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Easy. It was the easiest. I, it just, we just got a deal. Uh, I just signed a JV contract this morning. This opportunity came to me Thursday. I sent it out Thursday. Somebody raised their hand and said, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna buy this on Friday. 
EMD was submitted today. So it was a total of what? 15 minutes of my time, basically. Man, who gets paid $2,500 per 15 minutes, bro? You're making how much an hour? <laughs> this guy. That's right. that's what, that's what but, and that's why I have a lot of conversations. You know, I have five, six, seven conversations a day with sub two people. And I'm always looking for it. What do you need? What do you got? What do you have? How can I help you? Because some point I'm going to find the other other match, and I'm going to get paid twenty five hundred bucks, and that's just a side hustle for the business I have inside Go High, high Level and how I help people. So that's, that's bring them all, that's bring them all together. Just keep moving. Yeah, bro, I like it. I like it. That's what's up. So when you get your dialer all set up hit me up you've got my calendar right you still have it somewhere i'll send it to you again yeah please i, I don't know where you sent it it might be in yeah. my... it's, uh, probably facebook but i'll just text it to you too and i'll email it to you i'll do all the things So when you get it all set up and you're like, hey, Bill, I've got, I started dialing, I used the multi-line dialer, but I need, I need help with the go high level side of it to like really understand how it works and how I can best utilize it. Hit me up, we'll talk about it and I'll see what, what makes sense for us to, to do going forward. Yeah, because my, my, um, my idea of it was not putting any leads into my CRM. I was going to leave that um alone i was gonna just input my leads into the my data into the dialer and then move them over once i get the yes i'm interested and then move them over i, I don't want to put anything that's not interested in in my uh, crm is that kind of a good idea or that's the best idea because honestly you have to protect your phone number inside a go high level like your life depends on it mm. Smart. You do not want that number to get blacklisted because it's just, you don't want to do that. You don't want to go down that road. Yeah. You want to let the people who are dealing with the multi-line dialers, you want to let them deal with the phone numbers and all that other crazy crap. You just want to press the dial button and know that every time you do, the phone numbers are going to work. Is that also that was another concern of mine? So I they always work. I don't have to worry about ever them ever popping up as scam likely. I don't know about REI reply, how they work it, but mm. I would assume that that is, I would check, right? Like, hey, how, what are you doing to ensure that these numbers are showing up? And they should have an answer for you. If they don't, I would be like, mm, oh yeah, you guys probably don't know what you're doing. So just be careful, ask the good questions that you need to ask. But your point of, if you have a list, import that list into your multi-line dialer when you talk to somebody and they're like yeah i'm interested in talking with you what i would do is i would probably go straight to the cat my calendar right like your calendar here yeah. and i would say awesome this is great i really have a fun time conversing with you when when can we chat again right because you always got to book a meeting from a meeting if they say oh follow up in seven days you're not just going to randomly call them. You're going to say, great, seven days from now is one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to say, you want me to call you on Sunday? And they're going to say, no, Monday. You're great. That's the 16th. And you're going to open up the 16th. And you're going to say, what time on the 16th? They're going to say 12 o'clock. And then you're going to put in their information here, everything. And you're going to send them an actual calendar invite. And you're going to have automations that fire off that say, hey, John Smith, you've got an appointment with Joel on Monday at 12 o'clock. And then it's going to do a 24-hour appointment reminder, and then an hour, and then 10 minutes, so that they know, guess what? You're not wasting Joel's time. You yeah. call Joel, Joel will call you back, and you better that be is, there. Yeah, that is amazing, bro. That is dope. And then I don't even have to do the damn thing, like text them, hey, yeah. I'm calling you in an hour, hey. Be ready for a phone call in 10 minutes. It's just boom, boom, boom. Just give them a call whenever I said three o'clock Monday. 
Yeah, that, that, and it gets them to commit too, because a lot of people are just lip service. Oh yeah, call me in seven days. Great, seven days is on Sunday. What time? Oh no, don't call me on Sunday. Oh, so you really mean eight days? So what time Monday? Oh, any time. I don't have any. I don't. There's no any time slot on the calendar, sir. What time do you want me to call you? And that's when they're like, Oh no, I actually don't really want you to call me. Well, great, that's fine. I'll put you back on my power dialer and I'll call you randomly again. What about? Someone that answers the phone and I verified that's them. That's a good number to call them. I'm not interested right now. Give me a call later or I'm not interested, but I, I really do want to keep that number. Do you move that contact that lead into your CRM or do you still leave that type of lead in your power diver? It depends. Depends on your system, right? If they're like, hey, not right now, I say, when's a better time? Oh, I don't know. Well, then I'm, it doesn't seem like you actually really need help, sir, ma'am. Oh, no, I need help. Great. Well, when when do you think you'll actually need help? Mm. Oh, in, in two months. Great. Two months is uh, November. When you want to when you want to chat in November? Oh, I don't know. Any old time. Sorry, I can't. I don't know what any old time is. You know, if if you're if you need me to help you, I need to set up a time where I know you're going to be available. Otherwise, I probably just leave them in that power dialer. Okay. Because they're not serious. It's good. Okay. That works for me. Any other questions? No, bro. I just got to do the damn thing and, and figure out the problems I need answered and or help with you answering. Mm -hmm. And then uh, go from there, you know. Um, I'm just, this is all I'm doing all day, bro. All I'm doing. Got I nothing, else, you know. If something comes up like today or my daughter, sometimes I'll take a break, go, you know, my daughter come back, you know. But other than that, I'm boom on the phone, you know, trying to make something happen. Either that or daily dial or, or nightly dial or calling, cold calling with shot, you know. That, that which is kind of cool because I, I do two hours for that. They put me on their ready mode. And two hours a day from eight to ten, I call their their leads and I get the time in there. And then they'll break down my calls on Wednesdays. Nice. They'll list the recorder, like, hey, this is you did good here, you fucked up there, you know. And it's like I'm always getting better, I think. I love it. As long as you're dialing somewhere every day, all day, that's all that matters, man. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Uh, uh, hey. Call is tough, but I'm proud. You you're sticking it out there. You're doing your damn thing. That's just whack, bro. It just sucks, but I I, I want to get better. I, I think I'm naturally good at talking to people, and I think just when I get someone interested, it's like that's where I'm good at. This whole, you know, CRM data pulling and all that tech stuff, I I, I don't like it. I've never liked it. You know, I, I'm more of a people person. I, I think I that's where I'm I'm best at. Sure, I need sales training <laughs> and a little bit of a better understanding of how foreclosures work but the main thing is getting somebody to like you and then i think that's how they'll do business everything else you know will get figured out i think yeah i so you, you say you're not techie but i if you did it a hundred times would you feel differently about it yeah of course yeah, yeah. it's like it's like it's riding just, a bike or learning how to drive right. you know because you get a little nervous at first but once you like get it done it's like okay now i can do that shit with my eyes closed you know yeah, so is the uh, I'm not techie a cop out for I don't really know what I'm doing, and that's okay. I I guess so. Yeah, it's more of a I don't want to do it. I'd rather not do it. Like I don't want to spend my time doing it. You know, that's kind of what it is. Like I, I'd rather not. I mean, I I've been doing it, like I said, but it, <clears> I feel like it's so slow, and I don't think my time is utilized as well there. Like uh, it's gonna take me a while to figure it out, and it's time consuming, and it's like is that a real good use of my time i think my yes i'm being used is probably better spent calling you know it, it's all a really good use of your time because you don't know how to do it that's the reason to triple down and figure out how to do it quickly mm. spend more time on it getting really good at it because then you'll really know it and you'll be good you'll be like cool i don't need to learn anymore i just tripled my knowledge i spent three days eight hours a day learning that one thing now i'm good easy now i can just do that thing in 10 minutes and i don't have to think about it anymore 
And now you know because you put in the reps, you're really strong at that thing you said you weren't strong at and then you didn't want to do it. But now you're like, dude, I am so strong at that thing. I can go teach somebody else. Why? Because I didn't want to do it. But now I'm a pro. And now I can teach anyone to do it. Yeah, that's not a bad way of looking at it either. For sure. Part of the process, right? If it wasn't a part of the process, if like you were like, hey, I have to go pick weeds and this was what I really hate. I say, don't pick weeds. You don't need to do that. Go hire someone to pick weeds, right? That doesn't help your real estate game. But pulling a list is the heart of your real estate game. Right. Yeah, because even doing that shit, I was like, I can't even type, bro. I'm over here typing like this, bro. So you know what I did? I was like, I got on typing.com, bro. I did the little course and fucking now I'm just yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, and it took me a little while, but now I can type with all my fucking fingers, bro. And that's like okay, okay. forward, but it's better than I was like, ain't no way putting a list off of the county is efficient when if I'm like looking for the fucking buttons this way, how am I supposed to type up my list to get it skip traced? I was like, nah, I gotta know how to type. So I did that shit. I went to typing.com and now I can fucking type like you know. Without even looking at the fucking, I was like, "All right, so yeah, I guess I'm, I was more willing to do that than learn how to fucking mess with my CRM, you know." But if there's something that you don't want to do, you should probably triple down and do that thing. <laughs> yeah, that's good advice, bro. Thank you. I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Think about it. When you were growing up, how often were you like, "I don't want to brush my teeth," and your parents were like, "Yo, you got to brush your teeth. You got to brush your teeth," and yeah. now. I bet you brush your teeth every day. <laughs> yeah, twice. <laughs> yeah. And you probably tell your kids the same thing. They're like, no, I don't want to do it. Like, yeah, you're going to do it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because yep. when they become 40, they're either going to have no teeth or their teeth are going to be all right. <laughs> yep. What about you, brother? Is there anything I can help you with? Maybe you got a list to call for, uh, you know, that I can call for you or you good on that end or what? I don't cold call people, man. I, all I do is I get on the phone with sub two people. I talk to them. I figure out what they need, what they, what they want. And I put the two together. If they need go high level help during along the way, I teach them go high level, get them managing their contacts and conversations. That's all I do. Okay. Cool. Well, I mean, if I could help you in any way, bro, you know, let me know. I'll, I'll more than willing to see how I can help you. So I guess the, the easiest way is if you know somebody that needs go high level or needs help learning it, let me know. I got a 20% referral fee. Okay. For sure. I think the more I, I get into the community, the more I'm active. And I already see it. I'm making more friends. I'm making more um, contacts. You know, the more I do that, the more then I'll be able to connect people together, you know, like with you or someone that I, is going to need your help, you know, and things like that. So for sure. Yeah, man, okay. I'm, I'm excited for I read a little bit about you beforehand on Facebook. I did some stalking and right. I really like that you took a leave of absence from your job and you're just like, I'm locking myself into this little room and this is all I'm going to do now. And I respect that because that's I didn't have a job that I walked away from. I had another business that I walked away from and I was like, I'm going to lock myself in this little corner and I'm going to stare at a screen all day and play around on the Internet and touch buttons until I get, make some money. Yeah, bro. I appreciate that. So much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, bro. I, I made this shit into a little fucking office. It's a closet, bro. And it's just that because I have a little space, a two-bedroom apartment. And I was like, my little daughter, she walks around everywhere and it's noisy out there. I can't. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to clean out this little walk-in closet. And it's a stand-up desk, bro. She stands up. I got a treadmill. So when I get That's tired awesome. of sitting here, I'll, I'll put it lay down the floor and I'll walk. I'm fucking calling and shit i got a little portable ac because the essential ac doesn't come in here so it gets hot so i bought this shit this past weekend now it's cold in here i'm just like i'm ready to go bro you know i'm gonna send you another link for for something else that you may want to treat yourself to one day uh it's it's a bit of it was a bit of a splurge for me right because i had zero dollars when i first started uh but this it helps me it's another chair and I'll text it to you here in a second. Well, that's a that's a big link, but it's a it's a ball chair, but it swivels. Oh, that's dope. 
and it rolls. Hmm. It's interesting. I've never even seen it before. Yeah, so it's it's good for your posture. The thing is, you have to sit on it backwards. So it's got a back on it, if you look at the picture. But if you use it for with back support, it doesn't actually work your like back and your obliques. So you have to actually switch it. Uh, that's dope. Uh, it's the best one. I love this thing. Because I can just sit there and bounce around all day. It just makes me feel like a kid. Um, hold on one second. Yeah, bro, that sounds like a like a really comfortable chair because I need something like I mean I got mine, it's pretty cool. But I was like, I get tired of sitting, so I just hit a button, my fucking whole desk raises. It has four presets, right? So one is like when I'm regular sitting, the second one is when I'm standing, the third one is when I'm on the treadmill walking, and the fourth one is when I want to sit down with my legs crossed because it's it's not high enough, so it'll nice. lift up a little bit, and then I can cross my legs. So I got a lot, you know, a it's lot of best. options. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Cool. So I wanted to see if you would like to set another time for us to chat in like, I don't know, two weeks, a month, three months, whatever it is, just so we let's, can circle back around and see where the heck we are. Let's do uh, Let's do two months. I mean, I'm sorry. Cool. Two weeks. Two weeks. Cool. Uh, let's see. So we're at the ninth next week. So like the end of September. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. hold on. My doctor is calling. Give me one second. Yeah. 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 Mute it. Hello. All right, brother, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, wait, I can't hear you. Are you muted? I you... was. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, was, it was my doctor because uh, he was going to take care of my son for the accident thing. He said yeah. he was back. So I'm going to set him up with that to make sure he's okay, you know? Yeah. All right, so we said a couple of weeks. Uh, we're this week. So you want to do the end of September? Let me look. Yeah, we could do uh, we could do the twenty seventh of September. Cool. What time? I'm free that day. I don't have anything in there, so let's do uh, what what time zone are you in? I'm in Eastern. Okay, let's do um, I'm up pretty early. Let's, do, let's do nine o'clock. Nine o'clock your time. I'm calling at that time for uh, Shad. Let's okay. do uh. 10 30 or 10 o'clock your time yeah 10 or 10 30 my time pacific 10 30. <clears throat> all right so that'll be the 27th at 10 30 your time i'm going to book it it's going to send you all the automations and all that stuff again oh. 
It's booking. All right, it's done. Take it. Cool. Yeah, let me send me a message when you get your dialer all set up. And you know, if it's all set up before we chat next, let me know and we can have the, the next conversation on what you need to do or what you know what you're looking to get done and go high level and we can kind of go from there. Thanks, bro. Um, how long does it take for the Twilio to approve that? Do you know usually or no? Um, I don't know how they're going about their multi-line stuff. I don't I don't do multi-line anything. Usually Twilio is like seven to ten days. Okay. Yeah, so it should be coming up here maybe this week, later on this week. Yeah. Okay. Hey, well, I really appreciate your time, Bill. It was pretty helpful. Um, you, you said you're gonna send me this uh, recording, right? Yeah, I can if you'd like. Yeah, can you please? I would really appreciate that, just so I can go over some of the things that we talked about, and then uh, take some notes on it, and and then figure out my next move. You know, I, I really, like I said, this is what I'm doing. So I, I just want to be able to close my first deal, bro, and make some money. I love it. I love it. All right, dude. I'll, as soon as I end this call, it'll take about ten minutes, and I'll send it through. I really appreciate that. Thank you, man. See ya.